First, the breaking news overnight and Putin's new threat saying he's ready to use nuclear weapons after Ukraine's massive drone strike on Russia. Foreign correspondent James Longman starts us off. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, George. Vladimir Putin has said he's ready to use nuclear weapons if there is a threat to Russia's statehood. In a wide ranging interview this morning, he actually said it was up to the United States to calm the situation and avoid a nuclear war. This is as overnight Ukraine launched a massive drone attack on Russian energy infrastructure, actually the largest single attack of its kind since the war began. More than 60 drones launched in six different regions. An oil refinery among those targets hit. That's actually the second night in a row uh, that an oil refinery has been targeted. Ukraine is trying to disrupt uh, fuel deliveries to the front line in its war and also Russian energy exports more broadly. This is as this weekend, Russians head to the polls in the presidential elections. Vladimir Putin has changed the constitution, so technically he can remain in power until 2036. It is all but certain he's going to win another six-year term, especially since most opposition leaders are either in exile, in jail or dead, and the most famous of whom was, of course, Alexei Navalny, whose funeral earlier this month drew thousands of people. Robin? Well, certainly disturbing news to wake up to, James. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.